Designing and selling retro Kiska stickers is super popular right now, especially if you're selling on something like Etsy, or maybe you have your own personal site, or even if you're using Redbubble or Society6. And the easiest way to make those Kiss Cut stickers is with Kittle, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. But hey, if you're new to Kittle, that's all right. You can sign up to try it for free using the link down in the description, and then you can follow along with me through this whole tutorial. So let's get started. All right, to get started, I've already got my text, Let's Be Kind, which is going to be our stickers. And if I hit W, you can see my swatches I've already pre-prepared over here. You can easily make some circles and put some colors in there that you want to use, but let's just get focused on the text for right now. So for kind, that's going to be our main focal point, and I'm going to use this Sunship font. It's a really nice, groovy, kind of retro-looking, uh, thick bottom script font. And I'm going to use this alternate here for the D. Uh, you can always go over there to the Glyphs panel and find different characters that could give you a little bit more pizzazz, uh, a little bit more interest there. So for B, I'm going to use a different font. I'm not going to use that Sunship font, but I'm going to use this kind of psychedelic cowboy font that goes really nicely with the overall style of the design. But I wouldn't be too scared about using a couple of different style of fonts. We're just going for a really nice kind of cute kiss cut sticker. So for Let's, I'm going to go with a different style, this kind of Miguel font right here. It's kind of quirky, and that's one of the parts of the overall vibe that we're going with this kind of kiss cut sticker here. So once we do a little bit of tweaking and we have our layout all together, let's go ahead and change some color. So since I have those swatches, you can see the document palette shows up down there at the bottom. I can easily switch to the colors that I want to since all of those swatches are off to the side. Uh, all the colors are there. I don't have to like open it up and find it or anything. Now I'm going to add a little bit of shadow to the 3D uh, for a 3D effect here on Kind. Just going to give it some darker purple for that kind of shadow, that 3D effect here. I'm not, not going to do it for the other two words because this is our focal point. Kind is our focal point right here. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down in the elements panel on illustrations to these kind of colorful flat florals. Uh, they're more in this line of design style. They're kind of quirky. They are kind of, you know, that retro uh, kind of 60s, 70s type vibe. And I think they're playing really nicely with the design. So let's go ahead and put a couple of these in here. We'll put some in the back. We'll put some in the front just to just to give it a little bit more interest here and also to help us fill the overall space of the sticker. So once we have our colors adjusted, what we can do is go ahead and start outlining it. So what we're going to do is copy this whole group. So we've grouped it together first, and now we have design. Now if you hit Command or Control C and V, now we have a second version of the group, which I'm going to label as outline so now we have a outline of our design and what we're gonna do is go through all of these and start giving them a white outer width so I'm gonna change the background color so it's easy for you to see how to do this it may sound kinda of complicated but I promise you it's really really easy so let's go to kind for example we'll go over here to the shading we're gonna change the background color there to white of course, we have the text on top, so nothing looks like it's changed yet. No worries, no problem. If we go to outer width right here and we start increasing it, now you can see we're giving ourselves that white border, which is exactly what we want. So all you have to do is find an area that feels good. I think 50 feels really nice for the rest of this. Now I'm going to go to the other letters, the other words, and do the same exact thing. So I'm going to give it that 50 outline width and I'm going to change that to white and so hopefully you can understand what we're doing is we're just taking the same design copying it and we're giving it an overall outline so that it looks like that sticker and now what we can do is add some shapes to fill these little gaps see these little gaps right here sometimes your width isn't going to completely pick it up and if we want to print this small we need to make sure these are filled so let's go ahead and just add a couple of these I'm just going to duplicate them. You can du duplicate by holding the alter option key and dragging by the way of course you want to make sure it's white and then once we have it where they need to be, I can grab all of them and send them to the outline layer down here below because that's where they need to go, no problem. And so now we've made our outlined kiss cut sticker design. And what's really, really neat about this is we have the document group color right here, the white, and I can easily go in and change it to something else. Maybe I want to go for this kind of like pastel 
uh, retroish green and now look at that it's easy to do super nice you can easily change it to white if you need to or for any other color and it's just as easy as that now what we want to do is make sure that this is filling up the space of the artboard or at least the predefined space that we're using right here uh, to get the best quality for our download of course you're going to resize this in your pod or whatever printing you're going to use and now we can download a png of course we want to hit remove background and we are good to go. So here is our completed Kiss Cut sticker design, completely done in Kittle. You can see it here mocked up, what it would be like if you placed it on a journal. So I hope you have a ton of fun with this tutorial. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.